Hi, this is DJ Riddler, and I am going to be talking about Serato 2.0 Public Beta number one. Uh, basically, that means uh, this is the beta version of Serato 2.0. Uh, they're still working some kinks out. I can honestly say uh, I've just been playing around with it uh, the last couple of days. Uh, as far as like, uh, uh, as far as like uh, actual functional use, I haven't. I haven't. Um, seen any any foreseeable bugs and uh, it played fine with me um, everything seemed to be working okay but uh, what I'm going to talk about is uh, a new feature that they added on 2.0 called the um, Serato playlist basically uh, in previous versions of Serato you can go into your history and uh, pull up a playlist and export them you know you could pull up say you had a killer set that night and uh, you were able to basically export that uh, in, as a text file or some of these other files well now what it allows you to do is um, you can export it to what's called a Serato playlist see there and when you do that it will open up a web browser which you will then log in now to save some time I already did the login part on my other computer now the, the other key thing to this is is that you have to have Wi-Fi um, in order for this to work obviously so once you're logged in um, once you're logged in it takes you to your profile and uh, once you get into your profile it'll take you to a playlist and from that playlist now um, it'll take you to a, a page similar to this well actually it'll take you to a page just like this and from there you can make your playlist it'll the default setting is set to private but if you want to make it public so that everyone can see you would click it there then you would enter the information of like what club you spun at and now they added this drop down menu of start time uh, to make sure you have the right start time and uh, time zone from there now you can see your entire playlist your DJ set from the club it will basically look you know send that information to your profile now you're probably asking why would you want to do that well for a couple of reasons one what's kind of cool is what they're trying to what Serato's trying to do they're uh, obviously trying to capitalize on the whole social networking aspect of it and since so many of us DJs use Serato um, you will be able to set up a contact list so right here this is my contact list. These are other DJs that I follow or whatnot. And uh, you can obviously make that private so that only you could see, well, you and Serato could see um, who's on your contact mm -hmm. list or whatnot. Now, um, what's cool is, like I said, you can now see what you played. And Serato is planning to take that information to create a more uh, accurate chart. Now, uh, for all you radio mix show DJs that knows about BDS and media, media base, you know, sometimes they don't always catch the songs uh, that you play, uh, especially if they are mashups. They don't usually detect that or... They don't know how to give give it credit, but now with this, it pretty much uh, will tell you what mix you played, when you played it, and uh, what you know what mashup you played. Then, like I said, from there they'll be able to take that information, make a uh, chart, and you know you have the ability as well to make that playlist public or private. So if I go into my contacts, let's say, you know, um, I want to see what my friend Jeff D, um, I want to see Jeff D's playlist. So right there, I'm going to go click here, 
Here's Jeff D's playlist that he made public, and now I can see what he played, which here he just put some sound effect, bullet, and something else. But the point is, is that, you know, once they, once a couple of other DJs start doing this, uh, you'll be able to, uh, if they allow you to, um, be able to see their playlist as well. So that's pretty much it for now.